The filter is, of course, where we go, uh, oop, there we go, dust and scratches filter. That's what we're working with. And there's two controls you have in here. Let's get this thing up nice and big here so we can see it. So you've got a radius, the radius of the, um, of the repair work, and then the tolerance, which is kind of, I guess, like a how bad it has to be. Not totally sure, but we're gonna see this at work really quickly. First of all, if we don't do anything to it, let me just zoom out of this. If we don't um, do anything to one of the sliders, let's go there. Just If I just play with one of the sliders, so if I do radius, it very quickly gets really funky and weird. So look at it, it's like crazy, crazy, huge. So you're going, okay, well, obviously we don't want to go big. So it's got to be a use for going the really big, but we don't, you know, we don't need to do that. Tolerance, if you take that up to begin with, nothing happens at first. So you do have to combine them. So it's a little radius and a little tolerance. And what I found was going through, and even just with the uh, arrow keys on the keyboard, allowing us to go up one at a time, and kind of going back and forth on these is a pretty good way to do this and to find a setting that works. Now let's, let me go in close. Uh, we're already at 100%. Let's go in closer. I told you this is not a very high res image, unfortunately. Oops. You can click and drag on the image to change it, but that seems to be a wholly unuseful way to affect this particular filter. So we'll just pan around the old fashioned way with the hand tool. And let's open this back up. Let me disable it momentarily so we can find some of these scratches to look at. So I'm gonna focus on, see right there, there's a spot there, there's a spot there, there's another one there. Can you guys see those? They're, they're tiny, so they're kind of hard to appreciate, but they're there, they're little tiny spots. So let's go ahead and let me start, actually start the whole dust and scratches thing over again. Let's just, uh, oh, come here. Come on. Still getting used to this. I keep confusing um, Photoshop ways of doing things with, with photo ways of doing things. And occasionally that does leave me in trouble. But that, that's okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. Let's just open this guy back up. So, right, well, right now the spots are gone, right? Let's take this radius and tolerance back down to zero. So, spot, 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 spot. There's another one up here. Good. So, we're going to take the radius up a little bit, radi tolerance up a bit. And with a little bit of both, very pretty quickly, those spots are gone. Okay, those, yeah, I mean, I would say, looking at this, those spots are nicely gone. Let's uh, pan down here, over to this side. I think there's one over here that we got rid of. Let's see, let's um, just, I guess the easiest way to bypass that is to hit that. Oh yeah, see, there's, there's some other good ones. See, there's a spot there and there. Um, is that a spot? Yeah, there's one over the shoulder there. There's this flare-ish spot there. And that kind of has gotten rid of So let's say I hit that. That one's gone, that one's gone, that one's gone. This thing over the shoulder is mostly gone. So this done a really good job of cleaning those up. Now, unfortunately, if you look at my adorable face and this crab that I was pretending to eat, hopefully pretending, um, and the text on the shirt, I mean, that's just gone that's super bad, right? So that's clearly no good, but it's done a good job in the background. Well, this is why we mask, right? This is a great example of how you can combine masking with one of these filters, you can, one of these, yeah, filters. You can do this with sharpening, you can do it with noise reduction, anything like that where the amount of, of uh, presence of action, of settings, what do you call it? Anyway, the, where the amount does what you want it to do on the main part of the image or a part of the image when you're focusing on, but it's too much on another part, masking. And often you can get away without having to do any kind of super precise mask. As long as you've got a soft feathered edge, you know, it's not like we're going from black and white to color and we need to have a perfect outline kind of a thing. It's noise reduction to no noise reduction, sharpening to no sharpening, or maybe it's less sharpening, not even no sharpening. But if you just have a nicely feathered mask, you can fade that around and get rid of things, uh, hide areas that you don't want the filter to apply to, at least not at 100%. And it'll be perfectly fine. And no one's ever going to know the difference. Even if you toggle it on and off, odds are you're not going to see it. And that's a really good way to do it, by the way. If you're, whatever you're masking, if you're masking anything to another thing, two images, putting a mask between them, and you work on the mask, and you're like, okay, this is great. And you think, okay, you totally can't tell. You can't see the line. Top tip, toggle that effect on and off, off and on. And once you go off and on, obviously, okay, this is now off, now it's back on. After you do that, if you go, oh, now I can see the line, the line is still visible. It's when you can't see the line after when you're toggling like that that you know you've done a really good job. Tallman is saying strength of the filter. Strength of the filter, sure. Setting, strength of settings, whatever we want to call it. Okay, so let's go back to this. Um, I am, I am happy with the way this is being applied to the background, obviously not to the foreground there. So let's uh, fit this into the page, fit, fit, there we go. And I want to mask this. Now remember, all of these tools already have a mask applied to them. All you got to do is grab the brush and change that mask. So I'm going to grab the brush here. You've just watched a five minute sample of a live training video. 
To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live where you can purchase and download it or sign up as a member. Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash members. <laughs>